croeso i bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. Croeso i Llyndwarchan. Um, welcome to Llyndwarchan 3D, um, which is a lake at the top of 3D in Snowdonia. And appropriately enough, um, when 3D we're looking up at Rwyddfa Aichryw, the Snowdon and the mountains around him. And Llyndwarchan is a lake that's been here for centuries, but is a res was in increased in volume as a reservoir in the 19th century um, with the growth of the local copper trade and its fishing is run by the Seon Squirvai and Llyfni Anglers and there are lots of wild brown trout in here, some of it quite a decent size um, and we also stock it with rainbows which can be of good quality and uh, very much enjoyed by our members and visiting anglers as well. So the lake is owned by the club, it is run by the club um, but it's open to uh, non-members and visitors. You can either join as a season ticket holder a full member or you can buy weekly tickets or daily tickets they're available from several outlets in the area and also through the fishing passport scheme which seems to work very well the last few years where you just go on your phone or online and take a ticket for all the waters uh, the Seant Gwydfai and Llyfni angling waters and the Duarchan ticket is included in that you can fish from the bank which is always good um, and there are boats available as well which are fished used by members but also non-members can arrange a boat through the Cwellin Arms in 3D and that works very well as well. The fishing has been a bit difficult because of the long, dry, warm spell we've had, um, but the brownies are still playing. Um, the rainbows haven't been so good just recently, but today, if this sun goes off, there's a chance because there's a nice ripple now, and it fishes well this time of year, this is the end of June, with a floating line and something straggly on the top dropper. I've got a little black muddler on now, um, or a hopper, or any sort of sedgy pattern works well as well. Um, and that works for both the brownies and the rainbows. And there he is. <laughs> That's it, brownie. Apart from the Thindwarchan, which is really at the sort of convergence points of the three valleys, of course, where the Seant, Gwyrfai and Llyfni Angling Society and the three rivers run through the three valleys that radiate out from here, really. If you look over behind the Rwyddfa and behind those hills there is Llyn Patan, which is near Llanberis, a big glacial lake, and that has got wild brownies in and Arctic char as well, and the sea trout and salmon go run into it, obviously, but it's mostly trout fishing. And then from um, Llyn Patan, is the Avon Seant, which runs about six or seven miles down to the sea at Carnarvon. And that has long been a good salmon fishery. Like most places, it's not fishing quite so well now because the late fish have become less common. But the sea trout fishing has improved drastically since the Seant Gwydweith of the Anglers took the water company to court from 2009 to 2012. And all the work that's been done on the um, sewage treatment works in Llanberis, the water quality of the Avon Seant has improved and the sea trout fishing has really got better over the last few years. Lots of young lads now out till all hours in the middle of the night catching sea trout and car parks in the summer are often packed with cars. So they're a good big sea trout, big early sea trout and lots of sea trout in the summer in the Seant as well. And good brownies as well, although people tend to concentrate more on the sea trout just now. Then if you come this way, there's Llyn Cwellin in this valley below us here. Llyn Cwellin is another big glacial lake. Um, it's got brownies in and it's also got the arctic char as well and the salmon and the sea trout will get into that as well and that's good for this sort of top of the water brown trout fishing all season. Uh, and then this is Llyn Edwarchan. We've got smaller lakes like Llyn Cumdwythwch which is below Moel over there and that's just wild brown trout fishing. Um, it's a bit of a walk and it's but it's lovely when you get up there. The worse the weather the better the fishing in Cumdwythwch. 
Uh, we've got other lakes. There's Thinnegat Dive down below us here. That's another small lake with wild brown trout. And then further down the valley here, we've got Avon Llyfni. And we've got Llynantla. Llynantla is the top end of the Llyfni system. So the sea trout and salmon that go through the Llyfni come up into the Llynantla. And that's fly only, boat fishing only for members and for visitors if they book a boat and a ticket through the Question Arms. Again, Question Arms, a pub in Trinity, which is online or in the pub itself. And that works very well as well. And there's excellent brown trout fishing there. The Avon Llyfni, which runs from Nantla down to the sea, is only a little river, but it can be packed with sea trout sometimes. Perhaps not in June now, but by the middle of July, the shoals of sea trout down in the sea pools are fantastic. Um, they're very shy and it's difficult to catch them by day, but during the night, there's often um, several anglers there and it's not so unusual to see you know, two or three anglers catch at once. They're not as big as some of the Seon sea trout, but there's an awful lot of them. It's a great place to start light fishing for sea trout. And all those waters are available um, for visitors, day tickets and week tickets, as I say, either in local shops and outlets or online. So if you're coming up to fish some of the Seon Good Advice Lovely Anglers Lakes, whether for the brownies or the rainbows, um, you know, nine and a half or ten foot rod, um, six or seven it's always been. People are fishing fives these days as well. Um, you know, a floating line will do for much of, from May onwards, but often a sink tip can be good early on as well. Um, for the brownies, lots of traditional flies, you know, the usual traditionals and some of the more modern sedgy and nymph patterns. Um, and then some people use different lures. Little gold heads work very well for the rainbows as well. Um, and quite often, as something to Archan, you know, the same flies will catch the brownies and the rainbows. Um, and they uh, keep moving. Um, especially with the, with the brownies, walk along, you know, almost yard, step a yard, cast, two or three casts, step a yard or two, cast, and you'll find them. With the rainbows, as most anglers will know, they se seem to sort of move around, and you can fish for an hour and swear there's no fish in, and then suddenly you'll find them, and you get fantastic spot. Um, it, it depends on the weather as well, of course. The hot, warm weather hasn't been great, although sometimes the evenings can be really good. Um, some of these higher hills, foul weather is very good, you know, black, windswept days with the rain coming down. Some of these really nice big brownies can be caught then in those difficult fishing conditions, but it can be very good. There's a little brownie just taken, th I think that was the 0.5, just put that fly on, that was the first cast of that fly, wasn't it? Like a sedge nymph type thing. It's a nice brownie. Get the net. I think he's twisted himself round in all that jumping. Okay, it's a nice Dwarkham brownie. Look at the big spots. Yeah, some red spots. Okay, we'll pop him back in. We've done various things in May this year, so about a month ago, um, we had a day uh, learn to fly fish or a taste of fishing, which was run, um, it was sponsored partly by the uh, North Wales Rivers Trust and the Wildlife Trust. And we had um, an open day here, it was on a Saturday, and people could come along and we had rods and lines for them. And it was a reasonable turnout, these things depending on the weather, but it was a nice day and we had some children um, and their parents came and several adults as well and the women and we, every had a good time learning to cast we learned a little bit about um, the rivers and lakes and the health of our rivers um, and it was a great day nobody caught but one of the young lads did have a good take and he had to be almost dragged away in the afternoon by his mum because he'd promised to go somewhere but it was very good We've got good, really good access to get to our waters, although some of them are um, high up on the hills and need some walking. Lots of the others are a lot more accessible than you think, particularly Dwarkhan here now we've got easy, there's parking right next to the lake, um, there's disabled access and there's a wheelie boat for disabled anglers as well. And we have similar on our other waters that are good paths and good disabled access as well. So you're out in the wilderness and yet there's good access to the fishing.
or if you want to be in the wild marching for an hour up to a lake we've got some of that as well Discover fishing in Wales 